We're in today with two GTX 550 Ti in SLI. I remember last time I, I tested this uh, video card, uh, but today I said, you know what, I'm gonna use this i7 4 gen. I'm gonna test some older titles in SLI. This video card is from 2011. It's got one gig of VRAM GDDR5, 192 shaders, DirectX 11 compatible, 192 bits bus width, running at 900 megahertz with 1000 and 26 megahertz on the core clock we're gonna see this uh, i7 4 gen with four cores and eight threads how it's holding this setup does this sli configuration is bottlenecking or this i7 4 gen i think i already know the answer but how will you use an sli setup like this today because it's not worth uh, throwing uh, new games because they are not for working in uh, sli if we go with some older titles i think we will do just fine this is the whole theme today gtx 550 ti in sli with some proper games for this uh, sli all right, so Assassin's Creed uh, 2 apparently with uh, this uh, configuration, this SLI configuration is working really nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool to see this uh, setup working uh, 63 FPS, you know, it's like very linear there. I think this is the maximum FPS that is uh, offered here in, uh, in the game with... Uh, 50% load on the cores, you know, both of the GPUs are working perfectly, 400 megabytes of VRAM utilized with the fan on uh, automatic that is under 2000 RPM because uh, they are very quiet, but they are keeping the GPU on 72 degrees. And that, is, that is not bad, that is really good for uh, uh, a 550 Ti. It's kind of nice to see this... Uh, uh, configuration working properly if you have a system like this and you want to play some games that are designed for this you have to look for games like this assassin's creed that allows you to work in sli if only one uh, video card i'm 100 percent sure it will work fantastic but having two of them is just nice to see how uh, well they are doing sli it's cool but it's cool when uh, the games allows you to to play it boiling point i'm uh, i'm very late with it because uh, i keep forgetting to put it on what resolution record this is the maximum i can go on on, on this game this is uh, almost working with sli you can actually see 900 megahertz and 405 megahertz on the on the core one is 69 degrees and one is 45 degrees let's see how it's working with this uh, configuration with this sli it's almost using sli just remember one thing ringo Gringo. I don't teach morons. If you read the right book, or you have some other experience, I'll make you a pro in a jiffy. Oh, this is so janky. <laughs> There's no problem with the CPUs. The CPU is not very stressed here in uh, in this game. It got like 60 degrees, and I have to take a look in, on that thermal paste because it's 60 degrees with 20% load, and uh, it, that's not great. Hellgate London, this is that game that actually pushes the SLI to the maximum. I managed to put everything on 1080p, maximum details, directing smoke, dynamic lightning, weather, uh, filtering, antitropic filtering, everything it's on maximum and it gives me 70 FPS. 99% load on the course, you understand? So it's got like 70 degrees, um, 872 megabytes of VRAM. It's properly used, you know, the 550 Ti's. So if you are asking yourself, how can I put this uh, uh, graphics card to, to the limit with a game like this? Hellgate London apparently is one of those games that uh, benefit from this uh, SLI configuration. With everything on maximum, it looks fantastic. It runs fantastic. There is nothing wrong with the scaling. Everything is scaled perfectly. No bugs. Apparently, I, I didn't manage to see any artifacts in the SLI. This is what I was expecting from 550 Ti's. When I've seen that 9800 GX2 running uh, with uh, 500 uh, megabytes of VRAM on maximum, I said, you know what? There needs to be other video cards that runs similar with this. Apparently, the configuration here it's uh, it's kind of good. 900 megahertz on the core allows this SLI setup to push the game to what 80, 90 FPS on average. Kind of good performance. Yeah, Do I like the 550 Ti in SLI? 
Yes, I like how it's scaling. I like how it's utilizing the GPUs. I like everything about this because it's fantastic. Seriously, it's uh, showing me that uh, the search for those games needs to continue, needs to be uh, on always because then you will have a nice library of games that uh, allows you to utilize your SLI hardware properly. Let's jump in Call of Duty and see how this Modern Warfare is working with the SLI. I got uh, 720p and wanna, I want to play, I want to find a game and see how it's running. I think 720p is going to be okay, no? With five, two 550 Ti's, come on. So 161 megabytes of VRAM, 91 FPS, that means the limit is... Uh, on on this gpu is not rich 1366 i thought I, I thought i put it on 1080p regardless i'll keep it here because i already know how the gpu is performing i think it even on 1080p the gpu will do the job but it's good to know that uh, on maximum details the game is uh, performing really nice you know in sli this game it's kind of fantastic it's kind of good even on 1366 you know because uh, I know there's a couple of GPUs with 500 megabytes that will love this game and uh, this is the right uh, amount of VRAM that uh, I want to use. 900 megahertz on both of the GPUs, that means the SLI is, is great. Uh, VRAM, 600 megabytes of VRAM now. Apparently I need uh, lower details if I, want to, if I want to do something similar. No. Look at this. I can't complain about this SLI, seriously. It's working really nice. Now we managed to reach 700 megabytes of VRAM. It's got one gig, so can't complain about this. Seriously. Let's jump in GTA 5 and see how we can set up this uh, game properly to have some fun because I only have uh, one gig of VRAM. You know, actually shows two gig. Maybe you can split it to SLI. I don't know. 1080p? No. 720p, actually. I'm going to put everything on low... I mean normal details and just in case actually it's put on 0.5 i'm gonna keep it with 0.5 because i think gta 5 knows you know i think on uh, on this occasion i will let it there with 0.5 and i will just adjust it in the game and see how the sli is working okay so 720p it's actually good but uh, i think i can push it to 1080p seriously 1080p i actually can 1080p 1366 <sighs> Call of Duty new. So this is 1366. Oh my God, that Call of Duty new. So what happened in Call of Duty is that I wanted to put it on 1080p and it gave me an error. And it says, you know what? You can play on 1366. And this is the 1366. And now I understand because that's the limit on the VRAM. And with SLI, apparently it doesn't allow you to pass. 700 megabytes of VRAM utilized, 60% core load. The, the temps on the on the GPUs are kind of decent because they are not fully loaded and I like it. I like how it's working. This is the exact SLI that I, I, I'm dreaming every single time, seriously. Two video cards working together, delivering a nice performance, no glitches, VRAM is used, the cores are being used, every single detail in this setup is fantastic stalker apparently with maximum details on 1080p with literally everything turned on apparently the 550 ti it's bottlenecking on the core it's not bottlenecking on the vram it's just maxed out on the core because it's delivering nice performance from this apparently it looks really good the performance is here 120 fps on average with uh, 600 megabytes of vram utilized the GPUs are getting hot, uh, nearly to 70 degrees, but they are kept on 100%, you know, 100% load on the course. And uh, if you put VSync on I'm 100%, you will not have this problem. Temperature will be much better. The VRAM will be much better, you know, so 60 FPS is not that bad for a game that is uh, story driven. You know, you don't have to be super fast. So 60 Hertz, uh, it's kind of ideal. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, then understandable you know but uh, it's an old game it's an old hardware so it needs to run in sli so this game allows you to play on sli it's kind of fantastic to see this type of games running uh, like this can't complain it looks great there's lots of missions to do you know and uh, it just validates an old hardware because uh, if you don't uh, 
put the right games then you're just butchering the video card and you feel bad yourself oh i have an old video card no 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 with the right games this uh, this uh, video card is doing the job yet alone if you put two in sli you'll have even a better experience crisis 2 let's see how he's running with this sli kind of weird configuration seriously i'm not gonna lie 25 fps with 21 percent load no i don't agree with this seriously but it's working in sli the vram is maxed out oh Let's fix this because I barely managed to survive in this. Okay, 1024 extreme, really. 1080p with no high details. Apparently, we're getting much better uh, than how we put it on extreme. It looked very weird, seriously. So on high details, it looks fantastic. One gig of VRAM maximum used. The cores are 99 percent load on the on the second gpu with 70 degrees and uh, 87 on the first one with 73 because uh, why not can complain about crisis if this is the situation i mean with this uh, 550 ti the only thing i can say is fantastic seriously with crisis 2 i'm actually surprised how nice it works in uh, high details on extreme it's kind of extreme you know but uh, in this in this mode it's fantastic i got the second uh, 550 ti by mistake because it was an online um, ad that says that the 550 ti has got two gig of vram i bought it it was one gig of vram and uh, i put it on the side and luckily i realized you know what i have one more and i put them together to see how they are working in sli and i'm actually surprised i don't believe how nice they are working because the video cards are cheap you know it's got only one gig of vram uh, 192 shaders not very performant but i was very surprised because of the memory frequency and the core frequency the gpu managed to deliver a very nice performance that's it you can find this type of video card very cheap you can find this 550 ti very cheap and if you put them together in an older machine you can have a lot of fun so if you're interested in sli this is a very cheap solution it's more expensive to buy uh, dual gpu than uh, two gtx 550 ti this is my opinion if you're interested to have an sli but it's not a collectible this is one of those solutions that's the only thing i can say i like how this working i like the games how we perform with this uh, setup and that's it the only thing it's the only thing that matters now if uh, you like the performance and uh, leave a comment and tell me your opinion about this uh, setup.